From the studios at WBONTV.com, here's what's happening. The Three Forks Regional Jail has been placed under quarantine after an inmate contracted pneumonia and meningitis. The inmate, whose name has not been released, was hospitalized after he was having trouble breathing. Authorities say he shared a space with about 80 other inmates, but they believe the problem has been contained. WBON-TV sat down with Madison County Judge Executive Reagan Taylor. He told us about the new Highway 627 interchange project happening at Exit 95. Taylor says the new interchange will allow traffic to be dispersed more efficiently in the area, and drivers traveling from Winchester will receive easier access to the interstate. A day-long standoff between a man and police in Lexington ended peacefully with an arrest. Police were called to a house to respond to a medical emergency. When they got there, they saw weapons, but the man inside refused to come out. Eventually, 40-year-old David Carlin, a convicted felon, surrendered. He was charged with possession of firearms by a felon. Kentucky is responding to recent mass shootings around the nation. Yesterday, a bipartisan group of lawmakers in Frankfurt introduced so-called red flag legislation that would allow authorities to keep firearms away or take them away from people who are deemed to be a threat to themselves or others. This evening, a candlelight vigil is planned for Lexington at the old Fayette County Courthouse downtown. A Danville man was arrested after two toddlers in his care were found wandering in the street. 24-year-old Jeremy Dunn told officers he fell asleep on the toilet. Social workers say the children were living in poor conditions. They've been placed with other family members. Dunn is charged with two counts of endangering the welfare of a minor. He was jailed in the Boyle County Detention Center. Vice President Pence is scheduled to visit Clay County today. He's holding an event at the EKU Manchester campus. It's not open to the public. Pence's visit will result in the closing of the Hal Rogers Parkway between London and Manchester for part of the day. For news all day, go to WBONTV.com. I'm Bill Clary.